Hello much I'm on third time this week. I'm on a bit of a roll, I don't know why. Um so this review is Shh by Jade Goody. Uh, I'm guessing that a lot of people that are outside of the UK might not even know who she is. Um but UK people you probably will. Um and I'm gonna just talk a little bit about her before I do the review. I feel like it's necessary because Jade Goody, basically, she was a reality TV star over here. She was in Big Brother. Um, she was really not very well liked at all. She was kind of brash, obnoxious, um, kind of not the sharpest tool in the box, um, just very mouthy, and people took quite a dislike to her. She kind of shot to fame after that, and then she went back in the Big Brother house um, as in the celebrity version of it and from there her career completely turned upside down because she made stupid racist comments to a famous Indian actress that happened to be in there as well called Shilpa Shetty and um, yeah it was just media hype everywhere and yeah she was just really disliked but she was quite famous at that point anyway um, she realised the fault in her actions, she apologised publicly, she got slandered as a bully and all kinds of things. She went into Big Brother in India um, to try and you know, make amends and show that she was remorseful and while she was there she got diagnosed with cervical cancer. She died a year later at the age of 27 and left two kids behind and the whole thing was really public over in this country. Her whole decline, her deterioration, um, just her illness, everything, when she found out, everything was documented because she was a reality star and it was quite sad. But the point of me telling you is, this review, I have no views on any of that, this is a perfume review, I really like the perfume, that's why I'm reviewing it. This review doesn't condone anything she did and um, I'm staying neutral. Obviously I think that racism is really bad but uh, she you know, she did apologise. But just to set the record straight, I don't want any trolls commenting underneath saying, oh, I'm, I support racism because I've bought the perfume. It's, I don't care about any of that right now, okay? So, if you're going to troll me, you're going to get blocked. Let's talk about the perfume, which is why I'm here. It's called Shh. Um, aptly named because, as I said, Jay Goody was a real loud mouth person. Um, bad language, all of that stuff just really in your face someone from East London, or South London sorry, very brash character. Um, she released this when her career was in a good place. She released a second perfume as well a couple of years later and then she died. Um, but I really like this, it's a cheapie, it's a celebrity scent but it's one of or possibly my favourite cheapy celebrity fragrance that I own and I've tried quite a few in my time. Uh, here you go. It is turquoisey colour. The detail on the side is really nice. This is strong. It lasts a really long time. It's not a fruity floral in any way. It's an oriental floral. Um, not really any fruits at all, apart from the citruses in the top. The bottle is kind of cheapy looking. I mean, she, there was a documentary about her deciding to make a perfume, another documentary she was in. We saw her gathering rose petals, to distill them and choosing glass and going to people. It, it, I was interested in that much, you know, because I'm a perfume person. So it's got a little bow around the, the lid there. It says Jay Goody and it says shush. She really should have shushed her mouth and she would have probably been a bit more liked. But anyway, <laughs> so I'll go through the notes with you. I'm going to spray. I've been wearing this for a few days and I, I just, I'm in love with this. Love it. Oh, I should show you as well. They're it's dented like that there, dented, and the front of it's flat, so it's kind of like a little cuboid, is that a word, cuboid? I know it's a word but I don't know if that's the right word. So the top notes are cassis, which is black currant bud, black currant leaf, black currant tea herbalness, um, bergamot and citruses, undefined. The heart notes are jasmine, freesia, iris, rose, cinnamon, cumin and pink pepper. So four flowers and three spices, really, really nice. Oh, do you know what I need to say as well? I realised how bad my timing of this review is because it's actually Diwali today. So happy Diwali to everybody out there that's celebrating it. I know that a lot of my friends are. Um, there's fireworks going off all the time here. You can't really hear them on the camera, but they're just everywhere. So, um, yeah, my timing really sucks considering she was in 
a controversial thing for racism against an Indian person. I really do suck with the timing right now. You'll have to forgive me, I just happen to want to read this one today. There's nothing in it at all, I promise. Um, yeah, and then the base um, is musk, amber, oak moss, vanilla and sandalwood. It's a really gorgeous combination and I'm going to say right now, the smell of this really, really stumps me. I wish there were more reviews so I could just, you know, see what other people think. My impression of this is, yes, it's very floral. It has a light powderiness to it. It's more of a dark floral than a light dainty floral. You know, you've got jasmine in it um, and rose, two grand glorious flowers. Um, the iris is giving it a powderiness. You can't really smell iris, but it's, I said in my written review, it's more like an accent as opposed to a dominating note in this. The cinnamon's quite prominent. It kind of smells like it's halfway between being something vintage and modern at the same time, which I really like. It's kind of juxtaposed like that. It really is gorgeous, and it, the way it projects, I've had two compliments today wearing this, and that's just been at one at work, and then my hairdresser, barber guy mentioned it. I've got my hair cut, by the way. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's very tough. There's a, right through the centre of this, there is a real solid tone of something that I can't put my finger on. It's very, very blended so well. It's, everything is just together perfectly, which makes it just smell beautiful. One of my best friends used to wear this a few years ago, and I kind of took notice of it, because whenever he wore it, I could always smell it on him. I mean, it lasted and lasted and lasted but I never thought to get it for myself and now that I have I'm really glad that I have and I want to get a backup bottle immediately because now obviously that she's passed away um, I don't know how long it's going to be in production for I want to get some more but this central this central tone it, it's like everything else in the fragrance creates a new flower that I've never smelled before so the way this is combined, it's got flowers that I'm familiar with, jasmine, freesia, iris, rose. I know what all of those things smell like, but the whatever the, what, whatever the combination is in the middle, it smells like a new flower, like a mysterious flower that's just been born out of this perfume, and that's what I really like about it. I don't know what it is, and sometimes things should remain a mystery, I think, so it's great for that. It doesn't change so much over time. It really does stay kind of true. It gets t a little bit more flowery. I know that's really a generic thing to say, but as I said, this is a bit of a mystery to me. Um, it does become f more flowery, but it's still, it, it almost has like an incense-y vibe. I don't know, it's, it must be the spices that are giving it that. It's, the heart of it is just, just fantastic. Some people might think it's cheap, some people might think it smells like air freshener. If you're not someone that's into perfumes, um, it might be something that's not for you, but I've smelled a lot of perfumes and no celebrity perfume smells like this, and especially not their first time. This was way before the trend of everything smelling like fruits and flowers together. This is a little bit different than that. So I'm really appreciative of it for that reason. Um, and that's really all I can say. I really like anyone else that smelled this before. Comment below. Please tell me what you think. Um, because for now, it's a mystery flower and something a little bit vintagey to me that I will keep wearing as well. I'm going to wear it more often now than I have before. I've had it for about four months. I just haven't worn it that many times. And I'm going to get a backup. It's about ten pounds, I think. And this is a hundred mil. It is an eau de parfum as well, and I truly believe that because it's got that it's got that amount of strength to it and longevity like I said or maybe I didn't it's it lasts longer than most things that I smell now that aren't niche so for now this is shush by Jade Goody and um, thanks for watching as always click down here to subscribe and um, happy Diwali to everyone I'll speak to you guys soon goodbye